Nice fish. Big fish. Alright. Big, big brookie. It's a big brookie. Oh yeah. All right, good morning everybody. This is John with Dead Drift Outdoors. I'm coming to you from my home territory this morning here in uh, central New York. I'm gonna be starting out this morning on a local creek that has some stocked fish as well as some uh, holdover and a really pretty solid population of wild fish as well. I'm fishing above the stock section and uh, specifically I'm targeting a couple of really big brown trout I encountered last week. Um, I actually saw one of these fish rise into blue winged olives. I did end up catching uh, a really nice brook trout. I wasn't really filming a video that day, but I did get some footage of that. But yeah, I caught a nice four, it was 14 and three quarter inch brook trout, which is pretty much ties my, my personal best. There's, there's quite a few of these big brook trout in this creek that are uh, pushing 15 inches. But, but anyway, I saw um, two large brown trout in this section I'm gonna be hitting. And uh, it's early in the morning. We've gotten a bunch of rain these, this last week. The, the river levels are pretty high. It looks very clear, uh, fairly clear, but, but still nice and high. So I think I got to crack it, getting one of these fish. So it's looking to be a nice day and uh, see what we get into. Ooh, nice fish. Big fish. Big head shakes. Oh, it's a dandy. Just cut a look at his body. He's a big one. Oh, he's a monster. Oh boy, big fish. Oh, he's a big guy. Come on, buddy. in the net Whew. that was a fun fight <laughs> 3x tip it so I could give him some but man he put my uh, he put my three weight to the test that is a solid brown all right just got a quick picture of this guy he's raring to go so we'll let him go right here at the head of the pool some nice current really nice fish i mean just a perfect fish that is in my opinion 100 percent a wild fish what a healthy fish man all right buddy going right out in that current heading downstream <laughs> that's awesome Ooh, there's one. There we go. That's a, uh, a ferocious brookie going after the big bugger. This little pool is typically a small fish pool, but you never know, so I just 
threw it in there. Wasn't really expecting these little guys to come after it, but hey, there's a pretty little brookie going nuts over it. All right, buddy. Go pick on something your own size. There's a fish. That's a good one. If I don't fall in, I might catch him. <laughs> oh, get out of there. Oh, it's a big, big brookie. It's a big brookie. Oh, yeah. This is a new hole. Never used to be here, and, uh, I swung that fly through here a couple times, nothing, nothing, and then uh, I just let it drift under under that log right there, and this guy came out. Look at this brook trout, holy moly. This creek has some amazing brookies. I mean, look at that brook trout. There aren't too many places you catch one of those that big around here. Heck yeah. All right, we'll let this beautiful, beautiful brook trout. Whoop, <laughs> there he goes. Not very graceful, but he's back in his hole. It's awesome. Wow, what a morning. All right, buddy. No, you can't squirt out there, dude. They're all eating the nymph. Just a little beadhead flashback pheasant tail. Ooh, that was a good fish. Just came out and smacked it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it was a brown. Missed him. That was a cool take. Just came up and sipped it.
All right, well, it's a little later in the afternoon. I had a really good morning. I wanted to uh, try to take advantage of the high water, see if I could get a, a big brown and got that done real early. So that was a great way to start. Then I got that really fat, long brookie, which was awesome. And, uh, and then as it warmed up, I switched over pretty much to uh, a dropper dry and picked off a bunch of little brook trout, which was a blast. And uh, I decided to do some more of the dry dropper fishing. So I took a break, uh, drank a bunch of water, ate some food and uh, hiked downstream from where I was fishing. And I got a couple, three hours to fish back to my, to my truck. So hopefully we'll get another few fish for the video. And uh, yeah, it's hot out. I mean, it's in the mid eighties. It's not quite as humid as it's been, but the, the water temps are still holding strong. It's 64 degrees where I'm at now, and it'll get generally cooler as I go back upstream. So fish should be good, and uh, hopefully we'll get a few more. Well, I just realized that I have been filming in uh, time warp all afternoon. <laughs> I mean, the good news, I guess, is that I didn't catch a lot, but I did catch a couple nice brookies um down in this pool below me here i just caught two really nice fish i'll throw some pictures of those up but man i was in a good mood because i came out this afternoon after uh, having a good morning and struggled quite a bit and then just got in a couple nice fish nymphing healthy stream just quite a mix of young browns and brookies well that was a nice little take came up and snagged it another brown it must have been a successful spawning event nearby because man I'm catching a bunch of these little brownies There it is. It's not a huge fish, but man, it's aggressive. That was cool. A little bigger, not much, not much. But he made up for it with his impressive uh, attack.
I was just taking a break here in the shade and uh, just spotted a huge brown just hanging in those willows over there. I don't know if he's going to show up on my cell phone. I think right there you can see him, but he's a bruiser. I mean, he looks at least 18. He's just chilling, so might be able to get a little fly in there. We'll see. Give it a try. I just threw on a little ant. I think I got a good shot at getting this fish to eat. Oh, he's moving. Oh, he just moved. I think he saw my fly. He was coming to check it out and then it hit the current. Oh, he's nosing up. Oh, he moved. I can't tell if I'm spooking him or if he's checking my fly out each time. He definitely reacted to it, though. Oh, I just spooked another fish. Oh, he came at it. Oh, he thought about it. He thought about that one. Oh. Well, my big brown finally uh, moved upstream, but man, that was exciting. Standing like 12 feet from a 20 plus inch brown that's just sipping occasionally. <laughs> Nerve wracking, but exciting. Thought I maybe had a chance, but. He headed, he crossed and went upstream. I don't know if I spooked him or if he just got sick of being in that spot. Maybe the sun was starting to bug him. All right, just threw on a big old stimulator with a rubber legs, a big, Beadhead nymph. There's a fish. Look at this fat little brown. <laughs> Tubby little guy. Fat little brownie. All right, well, it's uh, late afternoon. I'm getting pretty warm. The river temp was up to about 67, so um, probably a good time to quit. Wasn't able to get that big brown, man. I tried, holy moly. That fish was incredible. He was huge. I mean, I hate to overestimate, but he, he definitely looked over 20 inches and looked like he weighed like five pounds and he was just gobbling, intermittently just gobbling something off the surface, so. Missed a bunch of fish today, caught a bunch, screwed up some filming, <laughs> but I think I got enough for a video for you guys. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all next time.